Wonder Woman fans rejoice. The sequel to your favorite film of this year, Wonder Woman, has been announced. Wonder Woman 2 is going to come out December 13th, 2019 from, of course, Warner Brothers. And everyone's expecting the same creative team to come back, although director Patty Jenkins of the first Wonder Woman movie is still in negotiations for this one. So I don't think a deal's been signed yet. It is strange that they wouldn't have announced the date for Wonder Woman 2 at Comic-Con because that would have been a good headline. But I think, you know, it's just because it hasn't been signed yet. I know at Comic-Con they announced that a Wonder Woman 2 was coming, but they didn't go into any details about it. And I assume it's because they just haven't finalized a lot of stuff yet and they're still working out their deal. I know that Patty Jenkins has said in multiple, you know, news reports recently that she's working on the script and, you know, developing the second one already with Jeff Johns, DC's chief creative officer, who was also involved, you know, with the Wonder Woman that's out right now. So I think all signs are good. I think she's holding out for like more money, more leverage, things like that, so she can do other things at Warner Brothers outside of superhero movies. And, you know, I think they're both pushing and pulling both sides to see how much the other side can get. But I think it's only a matter of time before Jenkins returns to Wonder Woman for the sequel. But some interesting things have been coming out this year around that movie. Rumors, facts, that sort of thing. Screen Rant, you know, a pretty reputable, you know, comic book movie news website, claims that Wonder Woman 2 is going to be set in the 1980s during the Cold War. They say they you know, have production information, things like that. So they claim, we'll see, you know, if Wonder Woman 2 does take place in the 80s during the Cold War, but that, that's what a lot of the rumors say. And that Steve Trevor by Chris Pine's coming back, which is, you know, a huge thing, right? Wonder Woman's gonna be in the Soviet Union, according to this report, you know, doing all kinds of wacky stuff. And it sounds like, you know, it might be like an espionage thing, which would be cool. Because for those of you who know, like, historically in Wonder Woman comics, there was a period where she, like, she was, like, depowered for a while. And she was wearing, like, this white suit and was doing all of this kung fu stuff, like a ninja. Sort of like Emma Peel and the Avengers. I think that was the inspiration back then. Now, I don't think that in Wonder Woman 2 they're going to depower her. But I wouldn't be surprised if they take some inspiration from, you know, that kind of mythos to the character. To make her more of, like, you know, a stealthy spy kind of person when she has to be. And she also was able to, in Batman vs Superman, I think she stole like that photo or disc or something. I forget what it was, I have to watch the movie again. Which, you know, so the DCU is setting up the fact that Wonder Woman can be pretty sneaky and stealthy when she has to be. And I think having her involved in Cold War Soviet, you know, spy stuff is a great showcase for that. However, what's really, really interesting, as I, you know, mentioned before is that the report says that Steve Trevor is returning. And, you know, as you know, in Wonder Woman 1, he appeared to have sacrificed himself at the end of the movie, you know, blowing up in a plane to destroy, you know, Dr. Poison's gas to keep it from, you know, being bombed on people. So, you know, him coming back is weird unless he's in flashbacks or, you know, Wonder Woman is involved with gods and things like that. So maybe, you know, Hades or someone is going to bring him back to life or what have you. Or maybe, you know, he just wanted to make it look like he died in the explosion because he's a super spy and he was able to fake his death. I don't know. But anyways, it makes sense that they would bring him back because Chris Pine and Steve Trevor were very instrumental to Wonder Woman, the first movie success. People liked him. Chris Pine is a very good actor. So it would make sense. It's just from a storyline perspective, it's like, what the hell? And people might be upset because, you know, no matter how they bring him back, Steve's sacrifice and his death was pretty powerful from a storyline perspective and him returning, you know, some people might think that cheapens it. You know, it's like in the comics, a lot of people over in Marvel with the X-Men, you know, when Jean Grey sacrificed herself in the Dark Phoenix saga way, way back, there are a lot of people who think she should have stayed dead forever and they, Marvel should have never brought her back because it just, you know, kind of undercuts the whole sacrifice, you know, noble death sort of thing. And you could say that with Steve here. And of course, you know, since the Cold Wars in the 1980s and the first Wonder Woman took place in World War I, I mean, how old is Steve going to be? Does he not age? So if he's like, unless he's an old man, it's not going to make much sense, which makes me think that it's either a flashback or it's going to be something magical related. Like I mentioned before, that there's going to be some mystical reason, you know, with the gods and all that kind of stuff, why he doesn't age. Because, you know, this is a Wonder Woman story, and, you know, 
I'm sure she's not going to be involved in the Cold War without, you know, some Greek gods and goddesses being involved. I mean, there's going to be a villain. It's not going to be regular people. There's going to be superpowered people with magic and things like that. So, you know, I think it'll be cool if Steve comes back. I do think that it would be better if he stayed dead, but, you know, I, like many other people, are still going to watch the movie anyway. And I'm also wondering, you know, if Steve comes back, maybe, you know, Wonder Woman's aunt Antiope will come back too. Because Robin Wright's, you know, a pretty big actress, and I'm sure that when she signed the deal to be in Wonder Woman and, you know, the WB movies, that, you know, she had a multi-picture deal. I mean, she's a pretty big talent, so I don't think they would have her wander around just for one movie. And I don't think she would stay for one movie. She'd want to leverage her star power to do more movies and get paid more money. So I'm thinking, you know, she could be coming back from Tartarus. That's the Greek word for the underworld or wherever. Wherever, you know, Amazons go when they die or whatever. I think it's Tartarus. And so, you know, that could be the same thing that's linked to Steve Trevor coming back. You know, there's some gods, or maybe Wonder Woman has to go. Maybe the plot is she has to go to Tartarus to bring her aunt and, you know, her boyfriend back. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm going, you know, I'm reaching really far, but, you know, I'm just coming up with ideas based on this. But, you know, no matter which way you slice it, this is good news. I mean, Wonder Woman, as of today, has made almost $800 million worldwide. That's more than I think a lot of people expected when this movie was announced. And it's great, you know, it's the biggest hit of the summer, domestically, not internationally. But in the U.S., Wonder Woman is doing great. The biggest movie of the summer. And so I loved it, a lot of people loved it. And I'm happy it's going to come back. And I just wanted to make this quick little video to talk about that. If you want to hear me talk more about movies and TV shows and comic books and all that good stuff, please subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.